All right, so now we're going to start to get into the JavaScript widgets or JavaScript components of uh, materialized CSS. And we're going to start off with the carousel. So this is file four underscore one carousel. And you'll see these panels here. This is actually for the content slider down here, which we're going to get to later. But first, we're going to deal with just a straight image slider or I should say carousel. So let's give this div a class of carousel. Okay, whenever we want to use a carousel, we add that class. And then these a tags here need a class of carousel dash item. All right, now this will work without having an href, but it's it's good practice to put something here. I'm going to put a hash one exclamation um, just to give it kind of an identifier and also to give it a pointer when you hover over it. And then for the image, we'll just do image slash image one dot JPEG. All right, so that's basically it for a carousel item. So what I'm going to do is copy this a tag and let's just copy. Let's just paste this in. So that's one, two, three, four more. So one, two, three, four. And we're going to change the image numbers here. Okay, and let's change the identifiers or the links. So we'll say two. Three, four, and five. All right. Now, if I save, we don't see anything because just like with most of the JavaScript widgets, it needs to be initialized in jQuery or in JavaScript. So let's go down to the bottom here. And all we have to do is throw in our jQuery and say the carousel class. Oops probably spell it right. And then we just need to call dot carousel like that and save. And there we go. So now we have a nice carousel. And if we click on one of these images, it'll go over. We can go backwards. It's also touch enabled for mobile devices. So that's one type of carousel. We also have a full width or slider. It's also called. Um, so what I'm going to do is copy this whole thing we just did. And then I'm going to comment it out. Okay. And then for the full width, I'm going to just replace what we have here. And then we're just going to add one class in addition to carousel called carousel dash slider and save. All right. Now, if we just do this, you can see it gives us one image at a time and I can bring it over. But it still has that effect where it's kind of getting smaller and then the other one comes in it, the this the switch effect is the same if we want to have just a straight slider what we can do is let's actually let's comment that out and um, let's see we'll say jQuery we'll say dot carousel dash slider and again, we're going to do dot carousel, but but we're going to pass in an option of full width and set that to true. All right, so let's save that. Now it looks the same to begin with, but if I slide it, notice that it doesn't have that effect. It's just a straight slider. Just goes from image to image without one getting smaller and having that that switch effect. And you can also go backwards. Okay, but it's up to you if you wanted that the other way. That's fine as well. All right, so those are the, the basic image sliders or carousels. Now let's look at the content slider. So instead of just having images, we can actually have content. So what I'm going to do is comment this out. And let's um, let's start to add some stuff here. There's for quite a few classes we need to add. So just like above, we need the carousel class. We also want the carousel slider. And we also want I'm going to do center as well, which will center everything. Uh, and then it's going to have another attribute called data dash indicators. And we want to set that to true. All right. The indicators are basically the little uh, dots that show which slide you're on. Um, and I think we can actually use these with with the other ones. I actually hold on. Let me try this for a second. If 
we put this in here and save. Yeah, so we can do that with the images as well. See the little dots here. I should have mentioned that. All right. Um, so I'm going to comment that back out and we're going to have the data indicators on the content slider as well. And then for this div here, notice that the div has the href. OK, that's not a mistake. It's supposed to, we're supposed to do that. And we're going to give it a hash one exclamation. All right, we're also going to give it a couple classes. So we're going to give it a class of carousel item just like above. And let's say we want the background to be red and then I want white text. Okay, and then for the H2, uh, we're going to leave that no class is needed for this. Um, this div right here, we're going to give this a class of carousel dash fixed dash item. OK, we also want to center it because it's going to fix it. It's going to basically just do just that. It's going to position it in a fixed position and then we're going to have a button or it's actually a link that I'm going to format as a button by giving it a class of BTN and then I'm also going to make it the color black. OK, so that is a panel. Each each slide is called a panel. So what I'm going to do is copy this whole div right here. And then we have what three more. So we'll go ahead and replace all these. That one ends there. So we'll say one, two, three more. And I'll save it in a minute, but let's change up some stuff. So this will be two. This will be three and four. And then let's change up the colors a little bit. So the second one, let's make it instead of red, we'll make it amber. And the third one, let's make green. And then the fourth one will make blue. All right, let's save that. And there we go. So we have our heading, we have our paragraph and our button, our indicators, and we can we can slide it. And we can put any type of content here we want. Um, and then the fix the carousel fixed item is what pushes this button down here. If we didn't have this class. Let's save that. Let's go to the last one. You'll see that it's just right under the paragraph. But if you want it down there, you can add that fixed item class. That's what that does. All right, guys, so those are the different types of carousels that we can have with materialize in the next video. We're going to go ahead and look at the collapsible widget.